you will create a small demo of how to use Cassidy charts. You will find the palette in the window menu, or just choose it and it will show. You have different kind of area of the palette. You have two pop-up menus. The first one gives you the ability to choose which kind of chart you want to work with. In our case, we will start with the pie chart. Uh, you will also be able to save different kind of styles of colors and settings for, for the uh, chart, and you will recall them in, in this information. Um, the first thing I will do is use this grid to enter some data. Just give it very, very simple. Basically, we have two ways to have data into it. We can enter it in, in, the, in the palette here, or we can load it from a CSV file. For instance, I will show you that a little later on. I'll just enter very few and just press my, my create button here and it will create a beautiful uh, pie right here. One of the things you should know is that you are able to uh, resize the bounding box and the, uh, the, the pie inside the uh, bounding box will remain a perfect circle anyway. You will also be able to do a lot of different kind of settings depending on what kind of chart you are producing. For a pie like this one, we can have a donut hole, meaning that you will just use the outer side of the element. You can also click on one of the cells and say, this one, I would like to have it offset uh, the center. Just click on the cell, press the, uh, turn on the, the uh, check here. And now you can say that this information, just have to transfer it. Uh, this pie or part of the pie will um, be offset from the, the sender of the pie. So very, very easy way to use it. You can, if you have data with the ledger, you will be able to show that. I will show you that in, in, in a second. Let me try to uh, load some data from, from our files and I can load a CSV file, but I can also save uh, data I got in this grid as a CSV file for later use. I'll just load in a one that I have created previously. Um, this is my chart data, and it will fill the grid as you can see here. And if I press the create button here, it will create, of course, um, a pie just like the one we have before, um, because I didn't change any setting other than loading some data. And of course, for a pie, it will only take the first uh, information line we we got so that will be the only information we, we have for, for the pie. Um, let me choose a different kind of styling for this one. Immediately it will be redrawn with a new color and of course I can even say I don't want a pie, I want a different kind, for instance the, the column chart here and it will show with this information that is on, on the display here. Later on for that one Today, we, right now, we will just take the pie chart, as you can see here. For pie chart, you are able to show a ledger, and you can even decide how big the ledger should be. It will, uh, it will be resized dynamically, so if you have a different shape and form, it will also be reinterpreted depending on how much size you have in the bounding box. So it's very, very easy and very adjustable uh, for you as a user to to have this information. Let's try to make a different one. Um, if you click on the X down here, it will reset the full panel here. And we have made some tools to make it easier to demonstrate. And if I press down my key, shift key on my keyboard and press the X key, it will actually give me some demo data. If I press the L key, it will give me different data and command and shift key both of them will give me different kind of, of data. So play around with the key, uh, keys on your keyboard while you're pressing the X. There are probably some information that you could use when you just want to test out the, the software. Let's take this one, just create one of them, and it will create a pie for us now. And if we make this a little bit bigger, you'll probably better be able to, to see uh, the ledger here, and I can, of course, zoom into this very, very beautiful uh, chart. And as you can see, if I just take one of them and ask it to be offset, we can, of course, transfer that information and ask it to offset even more. And it still 
fully um, fully possible to change even the donut hole if you have it offset. So very very good way of of uh, producing a pie chart like this one. Let's try a column chart. Uh, column charts in this case I will show you will have multiple uh, rows in in the grid. You just press this one, just zoom out to to take it. And if I just drop the ledger, you have seen that now. So we have one full one. We have different kind of possibility here. First of all, we can say that the first first row we have here should be shown as a line. If I click this one off, it will remove it and put that same one down in, in, in among the other ones. And again, we can choose to change the information here. And of course, we can have the, the X values shown or, or hidden and the same for the Y value if it's still the same. And again, we can show not to have any lines in the background. We, we decide what we like to do. And uh, we have one little one called fill chart. And I will show you better on for, for some of the other what that means. But uh, it's of course very, very powerful uh, way to use it is when you have uh, more than one um, more than one chart lying on top of each other. It's still a very creative tool and to create charts with. Let's take this one and show it as um, show it as a stacked one instead, just to give you an idea what this is. Values are stacked, uh, so it's the total value of the full stack that we will show. And, and of course, um, we can use this one for an area chart. Uh, let me show you the grid and some of the values. And this slider has now become a transparency slider. So when we use this one for a, an area chart, we are able to adjust the transparency of the elements so it's much more visible to see even values that are smaller. We have something down here that's very much smaller than the other ones. And again, all the information is working everywhere. So the, if you have a maximum Y value, let's say about um, a thousand, I think, it will adjust down and you will still be able to compare two different kinds of charts with different kinds of data for it. it will also be compared. What you also can do is Let's say that we have this wonderful chart here. I like to have two charts lying on top of each other, making it even more visible. I can turn off all the information about the lines and the, uh, the different kind of values here, and turn this one into a line stacker chart. I'll just give you an example here. This is our uh, well, our chart for use. Uh, with a line and a, a scatter also. But if you decide to change the block size to, to zero, I just have to change it here, select it and then change it of course, you can see it, it's a pure uh, line chart. And if you want it, you can change the, the size of the line to zero and it will be a, a pure scatter chart. Both of them is very nice. Um, in this case, I will prefer to have this look and maybe a different kind of color for it. For instance, the RGB color could be nice. And then I can, of course, put these two on top of each other. And now I get a totally different kind of look of uh, my chart and it's a very, very decorative uh, way to, to show information about this one. Let me uh, show you different kinds. Um, let's take... Um, see how we create these different kind of color schemes. And it's quite simple actually. Let's make some boxes. It doesn't matter how big they are or anything else. Let's say we want a color scheme uh, or style with this number of uh, boxes. So just select all of them and get my, my color palette. Uh, I've got it here. And I'll just drag this out and close all the other here. And, and of course, I can choose different kind of, of colors for different kind of box. I will just select some, some very bright colors here. Um, and maybe this could be a 
give you a light one, it's something like that. This could be my color scheme, my new color scheme. I just select the boxes, press my save button here on the palette. It will prompt me for a name here, and I will just call it demo. Save this as a color scheme, delete them, and why not um, try to play with it? Just have my area here. And now I will change it to the, the demo color scheme we just created. And here it is. The first one is green and, and so on. And again, you can change it to uh, any transparency value here. Or you can even say, I don't want this kind of, um, this kind of uh, chart. But just select a different one. And of course, it, it will be a, a very good way of doing this too. But with our newly created scheme. So basically, this is what I want to show you. Uh, you have seen all the different kind of charts type. You have seen how to apply different kind of styling for it. And you have seen how to reset the uh, grid, how to enter different kind of information in the grid. You have seen how to load a CSV file. And of course, you can load the file, make adjustments to them, and then save this information back to a CSV file. And we could call it test and you can open it in Excel or numbers or something like that. And you will be able to, to edit and, and alter it any way you like to be. So this completes the, uh, the first demo. Thank you for now.